Hello everyone and welcome back finally to a brand new content update to GTA Online. Unless you're watching this sometime in the future after the update has come and gone, in which case just ignore what I just said. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Benefactor BR8 and the Declassy DR1, two open wheel class cars added as part of the summer content update. I forgot the name of it. So for the price of 3 million for the DR1 and 3.4 million for the BR8, you get your hands on some cars which are... Well, I guess is up to personal taste. The BR8 is my personal favourite out of the two open wheel cars, mainly because it's an open wheel car which looks extremely similar to what you actually see on Formula 1. The DR1 on the other hand looks like something from a work of fiction, which I'm probably going to be pointed out that it's based off of a real car and that I'm stupid, but to me it just looks like something from the Batman or something, I don't know. Customization wise, both cars have quite the choice of both front and back arrows, engine upgrades, you know, all the stuff you'd expect. What I didn't expect though is that it would seem that we can finally change out the wheels for some open wheel cars. Well, without using special trickery. <laughs> Out on the road, both cars, to me, feel about the same. They both accelerate, they turn, they hug the road as well as each other, as far as I can see. One problem I've had with the previous generation of open wheel cars, well more specifically the R88, was that the thing was just straight up dangerous to drive. Go over any sort of curve or ramp on the road in parallel direction, and there was a good chance that the car would try and take off like an aeroplane, resulting in a loss of steering at best, and a straight up horrific crash at worst. I'm happy to report though that both the BR8 and the DR1 do not suffer from this problem. They stay glued to the road well and they're reliably good to drive at high speed. Let's take a look at how quick these things are using a basic drag test. Oh and before I forget, yes just like the cars before, these things also have a curse boost. But for this drag test I do not use it as I want to see what kinds of speeds these things can get up to without such luxuries. Let's see how they hold up shall we? So as we can see, all of the open wheel cars currently in the game have pretty identical stats, which I think is fantastic. It allows players to choose their favourite car based on what they like the look of, and it just keeps things fair I guess. All of the cars seem to handle pretty much the same from what I can tell, and they all have great and reliable downforce. Well, except for the R88 of course, which I would have to say that because of its atrocious design alone, makes it pretty obsolete in my opinion. Even if the R88 was the fastest car of the bunch, it would often be better to go for the other car simply because you knew you could rely on the downforce to keep you on the road and be able to actually steer the thing. In any case, that's all I have to really say about the BR8 and the DR1. Which one are you gonna buy? Or both? Let us know in the comments, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you around folks.